Hello everybody, it's me, Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog, and I'm back with another game review. This time I'm reviewing Weapon of Choice DX. It was developed and published by Mommy's Best Games and Super Soul, and I want to give a huge shout out to Mommy's Best Games for providing me with a copy of the game to do a review. Uh, and it's a little late though, because the original release of this game was on November 19th of 2008, but in a sense seen the DX re-release on Xbox, PS. PS4 and Nintendo Switch on September 2nd of 2021. I'm not going to look uh, a gift uh, horse in the mouth, you know, or as they would say. I do appreciate the fact that they provided me with a free code to actually review the game, even though it's a, a month past due, but that's okay. Now, what exactly is Weapon of Choice DX? It is a one-player side-scrolling shooter. Now, kind of take a mix of Contra with Smash TV. Now, what I mean by that is it plays kind of like a twin-stick shooter. Your left stick controls the movement of your player, while the right st uh, stick controls the direction and your shooting of your weapon. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird, though, is the left trigger button is what you use to jump, and you can press it once and do it again for, like, a double jump, which is great, but it takes a little getting used to. I'm so used to, like, jumping a different button, but you can get past that. Now, the other thing is, is you can scale walls, ceilings, and everything with these neat little spider arms that pop out of you that help you climb these multi-path levels. Most all the levels that you go through are multi-path. A lot of them will be branching and allow you a choice of taking different directions to go, uh, but each of the levels really isn't that long. Uh, now, when you first start off, there are only three playable characters, um, but each of these playable characters all have their own unique special weapon and their regular machine gun weapon, along with later on some other stuff as well. And as you go through these levels, you will find allies and if you rescue them, that's how you unlock more characters for a total of, as far as I know, I think there's seven different allies you can have that you can play as in this game. And like I said, it starts off with three. Um, now, the other thing that's really kind of cool about it is if you're about ready to die from a boss, an enemy, a pit, or anything, it's got a mechanic called death brushing, where it will slow down and show like a skull on the screen and give you a chance to pretty much get out of the way and survive, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Um, honestly, um, overall, I think there is... Um six different difficulties in this game. It is super short. It is super short, but it is fun. It's got a pretty good rock, you know, metal music uh, uh, to it. But as for the plot, it's a ho-hum version of just basically aliens taking over the world and these guys that go in to kill them. So uh, the plot is really, it's got one, but it's pretty lame. Um, you're playing for you know, through it, you know, for different reasons. Uh, but honestly, the vibrant uh, level designs, the really neat uh, monster designs of the enemies that you fight, the different weapons and their uses is pretty good. And you've got to think, even though it is a short, short game, this game is only five ninety nine. People, it's only six dollars. Seriously. So you know, in all due fairness, I would have to say I know this uh, review is like a, a month past due, but like I said, I just got the code today. What can I do? Um, uh, but once again, I want to say thank you to Mommy's Best Games for providing uh, the, the game code. Um, like I said, this game is only a couple hours long. It's not that long. I think um, uh, One Up DX, uh, One Up Shooter DX, I think had a little bit more to it than this. But this one is a lot more vibrant, and I kind of like the gameplay style a little bit better because I believe the the One Up DX was more of a, a rogue like sort of thing. And this one, um, you know, you got multiple different levels that you go through, uh, big epic bosses that you fight. The only thing that I would say that this is missing is a two player component. If this had a two-player simultaneous component of some kind, I really think it would help the game a lot and help it dramatically, but it's not a detriment to it at all. It's still a fun, frantic, uh, neat game that honestly I really like. The characters got character to them. The enemies actually are interesting looking. The bosses are actually pretty well designed. Um, the levels are, like I said, vibrant and really colorful. I, I could have used for maybe a little bit of a, a better level design, but I'm not going to get on to them for it because after all, if it was so easy to make a video game, then why don't everybody make video games, right? It takes a lot of time, talent, and hard work to make a good functioning game. And this is a rather decent functioning game. Um, 
like I said, I can recommend it, especially for the price, even though it's only a couple hours long. For only $6, um, hands down, it's a fun, frantic adventure. I can say, um, you know, anyone who's got an Xbox, a PS4, a PS5, or a Nintendo Switch, and you got six bucks you're willing to spend, I can actually recommend that you go and you buy and download Weapon of Choice DX today. It's a small file, it won't take up hardly any memory, and it is a pretty fun game to play, and does kind of make me you know slightly scratch that contra itch that i have been missing for so many years because i'm not going to count that you know, newest contra road core that was a steaming pile of horse nuggets but in the end this was nate aka devil dog i want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video please leave in the comments below if you've heard of weapons of choice dx if you played it what do you particularly think of this title does it look like something that would have been better as two player Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like icon, and leave lots and lots of comments so I can answer each and every single one of them. And remember, I always end my videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time. LA Beast here, and right now, you are tuned in to one of the finest drinking competition channels on YouTube, Nate the Devil Dog. And Dead Man Bones, take a step back, pal, because you will never beat the Devil Dog in a chugging contest. Why? Because the devil is in the details, good sir. So back off. It's the LA Beast. Have a good day. To where, to where quite, pos quite possibly Nate, if I can speak, uh, both of you are going to need to get your bearings straight now, because I, too, uh, I'm going to take my hat and throw it in to the drinking competition realm on YouTube. That I don't know what machine I'm going to create next, uh, but here I drink a six-pack of beer in 39 seconds or less using a leaf blower that has a blow speed of 100 miles per hour. Uh, I, I, I can chug things with style and class uh, as I learned how to do a headstand, uh, as you can see right there, right here, right now, because I need to stay hydrated. Uh, I'm going to chug this ice cold bottle of water the only way i know how like an absolute boss neat <laughs> so dead man bones and nate the devil dog that's it that's all i got but in the meantime <laughs> Stay safe, have fun, appreciate your support. It's the LA Beast. Have a good day. Hello, Devil Dog Gaming. It is I, David Faustino, better known as Bud Bundy. It's Devil Dog Gaming, it is I, the Grand Master, the Grand Flasher, the Cross Dresser, the Godmother, the Godfather, the Gas Passer. I think you get the point, Devil Dog Gaming. More important, Nate wanted me to reach out. He wanted me to dig deep and roast the hell out of his YouTube channel. But what's so funny is I'm going to roast the hell out of you, Nate. Because the Cameo Gods don't provide a link. So I can't even watch your damn, your damn YouTube channel. So I'm going to roast you. Next time, get it right. Send the link. Figure it out there. Nate. Anyway, uh, can't wait to uh, check out Devil Dog Gaming once you actually can figure out how to provide me a link there, Nate. Uh, anyway, Bud Bundy signing off here, Grandmaster B, the Grand Flasher, uh, and I wanted to let, always, as always, if they say at Devil Dog Gaming, the devil's in the details. Whoa, Bundy, peace out, y'all. Well, Nathan, I just want to make it clear once and for all, in case you didn't know, the devil's in the details. And uh, idle hands are the devil's workshop. So <laughs> make of that what you will. This is Clementine, and the devil's in the details. What up? It's Bam Margera giving a shout out to Devil Dog Gaming, and the devil's in the details. Yeah, boy. Nate! Discord here. I don't know where you are, but I'm in Los Angeles, and I think you can see it in the background on a beautiful day. So when are we all going to get back together again? Who's to say? The devil is in the details.
The devil is in the details. <laughs> yes, the devil is in the details. Wouldn't you say?